Good morning Year 5 Green Group. Here is your Tuesday Maths lesson. Please could you record your date and learning objective in your book, pause the video and come back when you've done that. Next, write flashback 4 and can you try these questions number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Number 1, how much money is there all together? You need to add them up and write it down. Number two, divide 52 by 4. Use your skills from last week. Number three, multiply 22 by 4. Use your skills from two weeks ago. Number four, find the total of 572 and 196. To do that, you will need to add them because total means add. And lastly, try your time. Pause the video. Come back to me when you've tried. Here are the answers for your flashback four. Here, five pounds, add one pound, add ten pence, add one pence, is six pounds and eleven pence. Number two, divide 52 by four is 13. Number three, multiply 22 by four is 88. Number four, find the total of 572 and 196 is 768. And the time on the clock, the shorthand shows us the hour is at seven, just after. And the longhand shows us it's gone five, ten minutes past. So it's seven, ten a.m. or p.m. Let's move on to today's learning. Today, we are learning and recapping how to count money in pounds. Yesterday, we looked at how to count money in pence. Let's learn today. So to get us started, I'd like us to warm up some of our skills. Let's get ready. So number one, count to 100 in tens. Pause. Let's check your answers. You should have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Number two, count to 100 again, but this time in 20s. Pause the video. Let's check your answers. We should have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Number three, tick the expressions which total 26. That means when you add them up, the answer is 26. Try A, B, C and D and come back to me. Let's have a look. You should have ticked them all. They're all just different possibilities where we can make 26. And lastly, number four, using these symbols, compare the money. On this side a £50 note and on this side a £20 note. That's right, the £50 note is greater than the £20 note. Well done. Now if you remember last lesson, we focused on the pennies up here, the pence. Today we're going to focus on the pound coins and the notes that are pounds. Let's have a look at this. Dora is using pound coins to represent the value of different notes. Which note has she represented here? Count them up. That's right. It has the same value with 10 one pound coins, has the same value as one 10 pound note. Which notes has she represented here? That's right, it has the same value as five pounds. Careful on this one, look at the value on the coin. This time she's going to count in twos to help her. So she has two, four, six, eight, ten pounds. So it's the same value as £10. Oh, 
Wow, Dora, you've got loads of money today. Let's have a look. She's arranged her coins into an array. There are 10 this way and there are 5 this way. Which note do you think she's represented? That's right. It's 50 pounds. Wow, she's rich today. Let's have a look at these. Now we have set A, set B and set C. And I want to know which set totals £10. Pause the video and have a think. Let's have a look at your answers. Now be careful, on number on A, this is a £2, so we're going to have to count in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And we have 10 again, which makes a 20. Two lots of 10 or 10 lots of 2 is 20. On B, we have £5, add £5, and that makes £10. And on the last one, we've got £5 here, and we have £5 in coins. 2, add 1, add 1, add 1, makes a group of £5. And that totals 10 altogether. So set B, and set T, C, both make £10. Let's have a look. How much money is there? He's got a top tip. He says it's easier to add them if I place the greatest value coin notes first. Which is the greatest value? That's right. The 20 has a bigger value. So 20. Add 5, add 1, makes £26. Well done. Let's have a look at the next one. Here's some more money. And I want to know how much money is there. Tiny Turtle's got a top tip. If you have pictures of notes and coins, you can cross them out as you count them. So, biggest value first. £10, add £10, add £5, add £2, equals £27. By crossing them out, you know you've used all of them up. Top tip, Tiny Turtle. Now it's going to be your turn to have a go at numbers 1 to 4 on the worksheet. Have a look here at how I'd like you to represent that. So again, like yesterday, it's too hard to draw our money. So I'd like you to do this using your ruler to match the coin on this side or the note to its value on this side using a ruler and stick that work in your book. On number two, how much money is there? You count it and make sure you put your pound sign like it shows you here when you record it in the box at the side. Can you go on with that work until you've done numbers one to four in the worksheet, pause the video, and then let's come back together to look at the next section. Let's have a look at the next section. Let's have a look. Alex says, I have more money. Look at what she's got. Tiny Turtle says, no, you don't. I have more money. Have a look at what he's got. Who is correct? Pause the video and have a think. Let's have a look at our answers. Remember to start with the biggest first and cross it off as you go along. 10 add five pounds equals 15 pounds. So we know that Alex has 15 pounds. What about Tiny Turtle? Biggest first, five pounds. Now here's a group, two add two add one makes five pounds. And here another group, two add two add one makes five pounds. Five pounds add five pounds add five pounds is also 15 pounds. 
So who is correct? Neither of them are correct. They both have the same amount of money. It is equal. No one has more. Let's have a look at this problem. Ron says he's thinking of an amount. He's got a £50 note, a £20 note, a £10 note and a £5 note. He says his amount can be made using three different notes. What amount could Ron be thinking of? Have a think how you could make different amounts with three notes. Let's have a look at the possibilities. If he doesn't use the 50 and uses the other three notes here, we would have 20 add 10 add 5, which is 35. What about if he didn't use his £20 note? He would have his 50 and his 10 and his 5, which makes 65. What about if he didn't have his 10? He'd have his 50, his 20 and his 5, and that makes 75. What about if he didn't have the 5? He'd have... £80 with 50, add 20, add 10. These are all the possible amounts that Ron could be thinking of. Let's have a look at one more problem to solve. Annie is making amounts using pounds. She uses one of the notes and one of the coins. I want to know how many different possible amounts are there. Think back to when we did possibilities last week. Can you remember we used a grid to record them? Maybe you could try, pause the video and see how many possibilities you could find. Let's have a look at your answers. We could use a £5 note with the £1 coin. We could also use the £5 note with the £2 coin. There are no other possibilities to use the £5 note, so we found all the possibilities for the £5 note. Let's move up to the next size. The £10 note could be used with the £1 coin, and the £10 note could be used with the £2 coin. No other possibilities for the £10 note. Let's move to the 20 with the 1, the 20 with the 2, no other possibilities. Let's use the 50 with the 1 and the 50 with the 2. We've now used every note and every one with each of the coins. So we've found that there are two possibilities with the 5, 2 with the 10, 2 with the 20 and 2 with the 50. There are 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 more possibilities. That makes 8 altogether or four lots of two possibilities, which is still eight. There are eight possible amounts. You're now going to have a go at the rest of the questions on the worksheet. I'll show you how I want you to lay it out. So you will write each one in and write your answer at the side or in the bit in between. For number six, you can see I've shown you a sentence starter to help you explain your idea. When you've done that, you might like to try the extra challenges to stretch your brain further. Ron says that he has, or thinks that he has, £13 here. Is he correct? Explain your answer. What mistake has he made? So I'll give you a clue. The answer is no, he does not have £13 because... Can you explain what he has got? On this one, explain the mistake. £2, £4, £6, £7, £8, £10. Which one is the mistake in that pattern? And can you explain how you know that? Well done for today's learning. And tomorrow we'll look to move on using both pounds and pence. See you tomorrow.